It's time for another cool tool review. This time we're gonna take a look at this greeting card sound module. There's a bunch of dirt cheap variations of this out there, but this fancy one cost me $9 on Amazon, and it is a straightforward way to add sound to your project. Sometimes you're making a thing and you want it to make a sound when it's pressed or turned or opened, and you'd think that would be an easy thing to do, but it can get surprisingly complicated and expensive to pull off. One way to keep it simple is this pre-wired sound player module. It comes with a speaker and a button already wired up, plus wires to connect up a jack for a 5 volt power adapter. Or you can also do what I did here and wire up a 3.7 volt rechargeable LiPo battery, or an 18650 battery, to the 3.7 volt connections here. Now there are a lot of cheap voice recorder modules out there and I plan on doing a separate video on why those are great, but what I like most about this board is that you also have a micro USB connection where you can load up your own MP3 file. The board shows up on your computer like a thumb drive. Mine came with a little song already loaded on it. Delete the demo file and load up your own and now you have a button triggered sound effect that you can fit in your project. You only get four megabytes of room on here though, so if you want a long sound like a song, You'll need to lower the bit rate way down in a program like Audacity. I've done it before though and it works. Another upshot of the USB port is that you can use it to recharge the battery that you have wired up to the 3.7 volt side. So if you keep this USB port exposed on your project or extend it to the outside with a panel mount extension cable, you can both recharge your project and reload your sound file. What I also like about this solution is that it's easy to hack what's here. If you want to change the speaker, you just cut off the old one and use the same wires to connect up a bigger one. If you want to use an arcade button or a tilt switch instead of the included button, you just chop it and replace it. You don't have to read a schematic or decipher the circuit board labels, just upgrade what's already wired up. That said, if you are down for some more intense hacking, a photo on Amazon, which I'll also post on the Maker Project Lab site, shows all the different modes and options. You can wire in a photo resistor to make this light sensitive. You can short out some of these resistors over here for different playback modes. And you can adjust the volume with this tiny potentiometer. There's a lot you can do. My plan is to use this to add a custom horn sound for my go-kart, but there are a lot of possibilities here and I'll probably order another one up just to have it on hand. That's a look at this $9 sound module. You can pick one up using the included link. And remember, you can find thousands of reader recommended tools like this at cool-tools.org.